Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see what are the new features released in Flutter 1.2 this week at MWC Barcelona. So let's click on the app left side, simple counter app, go to command palette and search for Flutter. Now you can see these various options which were previously available only in Android Studio. So suppose you want to inspect a widget, now you can do from here only, click on this. It shows us rich text, takes us to the widget which we have used. Click on floating action button, inspect and floating action button, takes us to the floating action button widget. Okay, so these are, so previously this were only available in Android Studio as I told you before. But the things you would need for these new features is late dark SDK's latest version as well as the latest Flutter. One of the interesting features of this update is click on Dart here or type Dart here. Firstly, you have to open the type tools and then it shows you all the functionalities which were previously available here as Flutter. Now you can see everything here instead in the browser using Dart DevTools updated version. So click on select widget mode, select same, select any widget from here. No need of searching flutter, inspect widget or something, something. Just directly click on these functionalities from the Dart DevTools. Click on refresh tree. See in unselect widget mode, say performance overlay, then toggle the device mode then render the baselines, then text baselines, uh, hide the debug from here, okay. Uh, interesting feature available in Dart DevTools is now this logging. It logs every kind of event which your mobile has received. Clear logs, let me show you again. Say, suppose I want to do hot restart. No need to go to Visual Studio Code now, simply click on this. Okay, it does hot restart and you can see the logs here. By clicking on this button, you can send the feedback to the team. This is for hot reload. Okay, so let's click on save plus plus. All the events get fired here. So this, this is the new feature available in Flutter 1.2, which I think is quite interesting. Okay. Uh, apart from this, I would also like to show you back in background, whatever I was talking was being recorded and converted to speech, oh, sorry, text using the Google Cloud's speech to text API. Let's click on that and see if it works correctly. Okay, it crashed because it has the maximum duration of 65 seconds and this video is anyways more than three minutes now and first if you guys can see here clearly you can see whatever I was talking was being recorded so that's it from this video guys if you like this video please comment and please share doubts if you have any thank you